hey guys welcome back to my video today's video it's been a gloomy day the past couple days and i am recovering from being sick as you can tell my voice is still sound a bit sick but look at this beautiful fall decided to go to the grocery store run a few errands and on my way home to put everything back to where it belongs and I just love driving through Ohio in the fall because it is so, so beautiful. The leaves are crispy and colorful and I'm just in love. So of course Whole Foods, most of their foods are organic and ever since I got married, my husband does not eat anything but organic food. So I had to get used to eating organic food, which is good for me. Um, but I decided to try a different prenatal supplement. And I heard a lot of good things about this brand. And so I'm excited to try it out. Also, stopped at a few stores. Got my baby boy a bear suit, a cute fluffy bear suit, and then a gray top, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. I am so excited to dress him up and see these cute things on him. Fun fact, my husband actually recently got into baking, so he is making some cinnamon rolls homemade, and they turned out amazing. Like, look how per they are and they were delicious i'm telling you so good like we brought some to bible study and they were all in shock how delicious it was and i went to express to return some stuff real quick running a few errands So, um, I got my hair cut. Look at what I got. I did to my hair. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I, um, got a trim. And I returned all the stuff that I needed to return. Grabbed some lunch. And now I'm gonna go visit a friend real quick. And then I will, um, update you guys on what's next. Just running errands, running everywhere. I drink my pre-needles, which I'm happy because it gives me more energy. Um, recovering from being sick, so I'm feeling well, um, looking well, <laughs> but yeah. So guys, I'm in my nursery. Yeah, you guys are probably asking, what is that TV behind me? But I need to get that out of here. Um, I set up a few things in here that I would share with you guys. Um, there's still work to be done. I need to get my nursery chair which i am so excited for i think that is the most exciting part um but there's the crib and the sleep thing that sleep sack and my friend i will tell you guys all about my baby shower i had a surprise baby shower and i am shook on how they were able to surprise me because it's super hard to surprise me and they were able to pull it off. Um, but I'll tell you guys a story. Before I get into that, my friend Esther, she actually painted that picture of Jesus holding my baby and it is so precious. It is literally the best gift I've gotten. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love everything else, but that was just customized, customized, can't even speak <laughs> but you guys get what I mean um and so I'm so in love with it I just love love um but I just want to show you guys a few things that I got that I'm currently working on I have this the munchkin diaper thing that I just unboxed right here and I'm planning to put in that corner over there um the rocking chair it's like a white rocking chair that is so cute and i'm gonna move that tv that there's some long in here and i cannot wait to show you guys the closet here's the closet i'm in love with the color palette that i decided to go with um 
and I'm sorry for not like doing the before and after pictures you guys I just couldn't wait I was so excited um but yeah that's the crib I want to put his name up um his name is a secret for now um so I won't be saying that just yet I just thought that I would just keep it to myself and my husband for now so um you guys will be finding out when he comes but I am 35 weeks so he can come whenever honestly he can come next week if he wants to um I hope not though but yeah we're still in the process I have to actually pack my uh diaper bag not my diaper bag hospital bag next week so maybe i'll be showing you guys i'll be making a video of what i'm gonna take with me what i'm gonna pack with me i just want to keep it minimalist because i feel like people over pack and it's just overwhelming um they literally pack their pregnancy a pillow and i'm just like okay i mean you do you girl whatever works for you i am just a minute like i don't not like having 100 things <clears throat> like even in my nursery like there's people that go falling out and i mean awesome amazing you go for it i just i love i'll just keep what he needs and that's it like i won't get extra yeah they'll be nice maybe there'll be a price here whatever but like there won't be like a ton of things you know i don't like too much things laying around even in my living room um, whenever i get fully um decorate finish decorating that i'll show you guys that i do not like too much things like too, like i'll get a side table and stuff but like i don't like too much things too much pictures hanging too much like simple minimalist and the theme for this room is like gray i really like the color gray so i have to actually set up his uh diaper his i mean a, a cabinet we got a cabinet that matches his bed so i have to set that up and um so yeah so we're getting there almost done just we're just waiting on the cabinet to come and um but we had the car seat already installed in the car so i'm excited about that it's just crazy driving having car seat in the back of the car like unrealistic um shocking i have no words to describe how happy i am but i want to show you guys the cute i love i'm not too much of a color person i don't like too much color i am like i said just simple black girl my favorite color is black and white um i decided to go with the gray theme because like it reminds me of the clouds and i love the clouds and i just wanted to keep it neutral but i have a few things that people got me that were like really cute like this thing like look how adorable that is i love this thing I think it's like the cutest little toy I got. And also, what? An elephant wrapped in a blanket? And then like, I'll show you guys, like what is this? Like what in the... A lot of emotions are going through my body right now so <laughs> I'm not gonna cry but this is so cute to like like that's in here here I and so I'll just get into uh, this how I got surprised on my baby shower here so I had a baby shower gender reveal in Portland um, combined because I knew I was not gonna do one when I got bigger because when you're bigger pregnant you can't really travel it's not really good recommended um so I did one for my family there and then here I knew like I felt that they were gonna do one for me but I wasn't sure and I like wasn't thinking about it and so my friend Esther she was having she invited me to a Friendsgiving and she's like <clears throat> the it's just uh I'm just so shook told to say that everything turned out because um, I, so the day came and um, I was like thinking, I was starting, I was so tired that day. I think it was on Friday. No, Saturday. It was on Saturday. And I was so tired that day. I just didn't want to go anywhere. I was like, I'm going to stay home, whatever. 
because I was like legit so tired. I don't know why. Um, and I, my mother-in-law was like, Esther, what are your plans? And I'm like, my friend invited me, but I don't know. And my mother's full. Like, I mean, you do you, you know, if you want, like you can bring a dessert. Like she made some desserts or whatever. And I was like, mm. like I just didn't want to go because I was just like really, like genuinely tired. And <clears throat> I told my husband, I texted him before I took a nap. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I want to go. And he came in and he's like, you should go. Like, you know, you're not going to have all this time when the baby comes, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like you should really like go and hang out and stuff. But he always says that. Like, he always like, enc like encourages me to get out and hang out. He's, you know, that's, he just, it's nothing suspicious. So I'm like, okay, okay, all right. And, um. I was like, I'll think about it. And the funny part is that I didn't also want to go because my dress didn't come in. And currently, I don't fit in a lot of things because my stomach is really big. And so I ordered this beige long, it's like a skims dress, but it's like beige. And um, so I was like, I ordered it a day before and amazon said that it would get here at 10 p.m but the party was at 5 p.m so i'm like great i have nothing to wear <laughs> well i did but like i wanted to wear that dress so i'm like okay whatever and my husband comes in the house and he's like your dress came in i'm like okay that's fine i have to go so i put on the dress i look all like decent you know put together i guess like you know like i just i don't know i like to look decent and um i get everything like i get dressed and everything and i go to her house and she's like and i was five minutes late early and i came and she's like oh like you're early um when i got to my friend esther's house like let's go um like i i need to buy some grapes or whatever and so we went to buy grapes and then she's like oh i have to guess up but little did i know she did not need to guess up this girl i love her she is just one of a kind oh man her man, her future husband mm, is beyond blessed to have her. Um, okay, so we go to the gas station and we get the gas. And then she's like, she has to go to her friend Olga's house to pick up some pastries or whatever. Because I guess her friend Olga is not able to make it. So I'm like, okay, like sounds realistic. Like I know that girl and like, I just like, it makes sense. And so we pull up to the... So we pull up to the men's center. I see like 100 cars. I'm joking. Like 20 cars, 20, 30 cars. And I'm like, I question. I'm like, why is she at the center? She said she's going to go to her friend's house. This is not her friend's house. And I'm just like, everything starts to get like, I'm like, get confused. I'm like, Esther, I'm like, and a lot of things go through my mind. I open the door and people are looking at me. I'm shaking. I'm like, and they start singing. The blessing i that song makes me tear up because it has a deep meaning in my life and you know it just blesses generation it blesses my generation my uh son's generation and it's just so beautiful and they were singing that song and i'm like and i look around and i see my mother-in-law she's there and i'm like wasn't she home and I was like, is this, like, I was like, oh, shoot, this is the baby, like, this is a baby shower surprise. I, like, I hold in my tears. I'm holding in all my emotions. I'm, like, shaking. The first 10 minutes, I'm shaking. And I cannot control. I'm like, Esther, chill, chill, chill. And people are looking at me like, oh, you knew, like, your outfit, like, for sure. She know, I did not know a single thing. It was a total surprise for me. I'm telling you. I was in shock. And... It was just the best thing ever. I thought it was a Thanksgiving. I'm like, yeah, amazing Thanksgiving, like Friendsgiving. I mean, like Esther did a really good job on surprising me, but I'm thankful to everyone that made it possible and surprised me and got me so many gifts and everything. I'm just so grateful and thankful to God and the people that he's been put in, put in my life. And the thing that's like, it just, it's just, I'm just in awe of his goodness. So I can go on and on, but I'm just going to end the video right here. Thank you again, everyone that made it to the...
baby shower surprise. I am grateful for all the presents I got and received. God bless you abundantly. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, if you guys had a, if you guys, uh, someone ever surprised you with anything, for me personally, it's hard to be surprised. I guess, like, um, you know, keep a secret from me because I always find out everything for some reason. But yeah, I'm gonna, next video is probably gonna be packing my hospital bag. So stay tuned. I'm excited. It's getting more real. And yeah, I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys a little bump date. He is growing, look at that cutie pie, an active little munchkin. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, don't forget to like. Love you guys. Bye.